Hi everyone, this is Bally from the Little Bits Workshop. Today I'm going to show you how to make this cute little llama. Um, if you have a sewing machine, go ahead and use it. If not, don't worry. Um, you can go ahead and hand sew everything. And I pretty much hand sewed on everything other than when I put the llama together and I use the sewing machine. So grab your supplies and let's get started. Pin the first layer of the saddle and do a running stitch all the way around. I've folded the saddle, but if you want to leave it as a raw edge, you may. So go ahead, pin, and a running stitch all the way around. Pin the second layer to the first and do a running stitch all the way around. Pin the last layer and go ahead and a running stitch. All the way around. Once you finish the saddle, place some buttons around the bottom. Um, you can use uh, beads if you'd like, or maybe even tassels. So place them first, they're not sewn on yet, um, and then go ahead and sew each one. Just be careful of, of this edge because we do need some space for the seam allowance, and that button I kind of moved up just a smidgen. So place them, you know where they are, and then go ahead and sew each button on. I finished sewing the buttons on and now pin down the felt pieces so you've got the back the face the nose and the eyes pin them down so you know where they'll be and go ahead and do a running stitch again so around the mouth the nose and the eyes um, I would recommend using a similar color a thread but uh, if you don't have it don't worry about it okay okay so i um did a running stitch around the mouth and the nose and both of the eyes so now i'm going to show you how to um sew on the eyelashes go ahead and thread embroidery floss onto a big eyed needle and have a short thread tail and a long tail go ahead through the back that's where the knot is. Our messy work is always in the back. Pull it and go across from the edge of the eye over. So I would say maybe um, a quarter of an inch. Pull it. All right. Go ahead. Go back. Come back up. And pull the thread and go across again and I would say maybe make four eyelashes or five however many you want three okay And that is how you make the uh, sew on the uh, eyelashes. I finished sewing on the nose uh, using a back stitch um, all the way around and up and a few stitches at the top right there. Then I found some cute pink buttons. I sewed those on and I did a back stitch using blue embroidery floss uh, as a little garland. Um, the next thing we'll be working on will be the ears. So you need um, two white pieces right here, a tan piece, two white and tan. And what we're going to do is attach the tan piece to one of the, um, the ears. And we're going to sew around there and similarly on this one too. So now we're working on the ears. I've attached the tan to one side of the ear and you grab one half and right side together with the other half and you pin it in place. A pin here and a pin right there. So it'll look like that. And then what you do is you leave an opening, which would be about an inch from here to here. Start here, do a running stitch all the way around and end there 
leave this open we'll turn it inside out and we'll be ready to attach the ears to the llama's head okay so i finished both of the ears and once i sewed around i turned them inside out so now what we're going to do is attach both of these ears to the head and what you do is you grab one and place it kind of above the eye pin down and do the same with the other one pin it down and baste it in place so it's just a few stitches you can do that by hand and uh, baste it and once we are ready to attach the other half of the body um, that will stay in place once the ears are basted on go ahead and get the other half of the llama and place it on top like that and that's right sides together and what you're going to do is pin all the way around flip it over so you can see the messy side line them up pin everything around and we will then be sewing um, we'll start from probably the middle all the way around doing a running stitch we will leave an opening and that's what we're going to use to turn it inside out so the next step is to pin this together go ahead um, and pin the two together once it's pinned, leave an opening of about two inches. That should be sufficient um, of a hole to turn it inside out. So you're doing a running stitch um, from once and going all the way around over and ending about that. Once you finish sewing, you turn it inside out. Here's the opening and you go ahead and stuff it. Um, now, I did use a sewing machine um, to sew all the way around because i have one but uh, so if you do please go ahead of course if you don't um just make sure that your running stitches are small and close together so that you don't have any uh, gaps or openings around yes so go ahead and stuff it and then we'll do a whip stitch and then it'll be done okay so I finished uh, stuffing it. I used um, stuffing and some fabric scraps and I closed it shut using a whip stitch. Um, I also added a little twinkle to the llama's eyes using a, a whip stitch and a little bit of white thread. Um, anyway, I hope you had fun making this llama and I hope it wasn't too difficult. Um, let me know what you think and happy sewing!